Uh, we're set up back in the carp hole today. Welcome in everyone. Good morning. See who we have in chat so far. We've got Chad, Jerry Hager. Good morning from Nebraska. Sweet. Chad down, uh, I want to say Indiana. I always forget exactly what state he's in, but down there. We got Bulk from Australia. Brandon Outdoors. Welcome in, buddy. Good to see you. I forget where exactly you reside again. Uh, I think you're probably down by Chad, I'd say. Uh, I've got the, black, the new black lights set up here. And uh, let me get the baits in the water. You guys come in and get set up, and I'm going to get set up. We're again throwing for uh, carp and uh, channel cats. Weather is a little uh, back to winter here. It's uh, right around the freezing mark. We've got pack bait. Get a pack bait and worms. The black lights I'm using are these guys right here, 20 watt. It was like, uh, I want to say 25 bucks, real cheap. So. Looks like it'll work. I mean, I haven't brought out the Vulcanator yet. The glow light that uh, Bulk bought for us. That will uh, really light up. using the pack bait recipe. I think I'm going to put worms on the other rod. Weather has been ridiculous around here. I've been trying to shoot a carp video all weekend. And uh, I only got out for a couple hours on Saturday. Let me put this on. and I didn't catch any carp. <laughs> so I desperately need a carp here. So I'm gonna be doing a, doing a little recording at the same time, get my GoPro running. I mean, I don't need a lot of fish for this video. Be nice to have one, you know? <laughs> I don't know what the correct number of fish is for a video. I know some YouTubers uh, say three, you need at least three for a fishing video. 
but if you look at my uh, popular videos, I think my two most popular videos are skunks. <laughs> it happens. Right. <sighs> lordy lordy we are all set up well not all the way I gotta get my coffee set up again I got my coffee holder thanks Jane does work pretty darn good all right let's see what we got in here Daniel Barry good morning Miss Joan good morning hunting and stuff welcome in buddy Add you as a mod here. If it's going to cooperate, I'm going to add you as a mod. Add as moderator. Standard. Okay. Just Mish, good morning. Welcome in. How you doing, Chad? What's going on, buddy? How's that pontoon boat coming along? Chad's getting ready for, I think, spoonbill season down, down where he lives, which is uh, a pretty wild looking fish. Like a dinosaur. <laughs> I think stuff is uh, bailing out. You have a good night, buddy. It's early here. The time change has us starting in the dark again. Yo, Leon, welcome in, buddy. There's member Bulk. He's a four-month shark member today. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. That is awesome. Hey, happy hook setter. Welcome in, bud. I thought I had you as a, uh, uh, a sub before. I thought I was sub to your channel. <laughs> Maybe I just followed you on Fishbrain or something. But glad I found your channel. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, 6.30. So we just lost an hour of daylight savings time. So we're back in the dark. It's spring. Just doesn't want to come full fully yet. I got my winter clothes back on. Pant legs all ripped up. Tried to put safety pins in it. But they all popped out and they're like really close to my uh, <laughs> crotch. So I decided that was not a great idea. I'm taking all, all the pins out and my legs is going to be half hanging out of this uh, camo onesie, I guess. see if we can get into the cart uh, we've had floods and winds all weekend here so from Saturday I, mean, I fished in the rain till the water came up Saturday Sunday was pretty much as close to unfishable as you could get here and yesterday was still you know 20 30 mile an hour winds so no point in trying to record in that All right, get that breakfast, buddy. Yeah, fishing in the dark is still fishing. Hey, still in you. Welcome in, bud. What's going on? But yeah, we should uh, 
You should see, they gotta be hungry. Well, I'm sure they're eating the flood water. You just, you know, some people swear by catching cats in the floods. I've never had much luck in this area, in high water. Here we, you know, the bigger the river, I guess, either the slower it rises, but here it'll come up like, you know, eight feet overnight and then come back down. So you really would need 10 ounce leads to throw out there. If you have 100 pound blues, that you might know they're on the line, but when you're fishing, you know, 10 to 15 pound uh, channels and 10 to 15 pound carp, heck, you won't even know they're on. I'm gonna put my headlamp on. I don't even know if I need, maybe I just go with the black lights. It's Tuesday, isn't it? I thought it was Monday. That's right, I forgot it was Tuesday. Yak Shore, what's going on? Fish in the water. <laughs> Where to fish? The fish in the water. They don't want to come out of the water. Um, hey, John, fishing frustrations. Welcome in, buddy. Brandon, hapless. Yeah, I'm going to fish tonight, too. I'm more hopeful for tonight. It's going to hit the 60s today, and the wind's calmed down. So tonight, I'm hoping it's real good. But heck, man, I'll try to get this video done. i got to start editing it. <laughs> um, we get caught up in chat, and then I want to fill you in with the channel and a little bit what's going on here. John Hobbs, good morning. Good to see you, bud. Uh, the next Thursday... The 21st is my last day of employment. And uh, when I walk out of that door, I'll probably shoot alive because I ain't going back. <laughs> I'm going to be going full-time fishing uh, after that. And uh, got a few side gigs here and there, little side hustles if I need extra money. Oh, middle rod. Middle rod. Uh, keep an eye on that middle rod. That's definitely a hit there. The light's just coming up, still pretty dark. It's gonna be a little tough to net without my headlamp on. I'm gonna be di disappearing down that bank to get the fish in the net. And uh, I'll be in the abyss. You won't be able to see me until I come back up. So yeah, next Thursday's my last day of work. So I've been spending a lot of time getting the chicken coop ready, the gardens ready. We're gonna be doing a whole lot of planning uh, I'm going to try to cut costs as much as possible with groceries and uh, going to basically be a uh, full-time uh, fisherman again, <laughs> just like we were before kids. So we'll see what happens. Um, got some side hustles, like I said, and uh, my wife makes pretty good money now, so I'm going to be uh, mainly a trophy husband, I believe. So, um, <laughs> but seriously, that means when the kids you know get on the bus I'm gonna be there and the kids get off the bus I'm gonna be there so that she can do what she needs to do and uh, in between those two points of time it's gonna be a whole lot of fishing um, be doing a whole lot of lives and um, it's gonna be a different type of fishing and we'll do a lot of this stuff but you're gonna see a different style of fishing that I haven't had time to do and that I really enjoy 
and I think it'll be something different for YouTube. Um, and I'll probably be on YouTube a lot less come at nighttime and a lot less come early morning. It's going to be pretty much all day. Um, I'll pop up on lives and I'll still do some nighttime fishing with the kids and all. Um, but, you know, when, when my family's home, it's going to be family time. I'm going to spend more time shutting down the electronics. So that's the big news for the channel. I don't know exactly what every, how everything's going to work out yet. I got a lot of side projects and um, I got a whole lot of like farmstead stuff that I'm really interested in sharing, but I don't want to share on this channel. I don't want to mess up the algorithms too much um, because, you know, people came here to watch fishing, not the chicken raising or, you know, garden raising or permaculture or anything like that. And I don't think I have the time or energy to start a second channel. I think it's just a distraction. Um, but maybe I'll pop in and kind of do a few lives here and there and show you the garden and, uh, you know, raising the chickens and all that stuff. Who else is fishing today? Who's fishing? Share yourselves out. Drop your friends the links or whatever. It's cool as long as they're in chat. I'd rather you not share anyone who's not in chat. But if you're in, if they're in chat, feel free to share their channels out and connect to each other. Got an awesome community here. We'll let it go another 15 minutes and then I'm going to rebate. Both those rods are gone. Both the rods with the yellow tape just got knocked. It won't be long. We're going to get one, guys. Oops, kick the camera around again. They're hungry today, I can tell. Currents up a little bit, so it might be a little bit harder for them to find the corn on the hook, which is why I'm not going to wait too long to rebate. Uh, John's going to head out to the Oregon coast, catch some herring for bait. Nice, nice. It's not as light as it looks. <laughs> I can hardly see the ground. The, the cameras adjust to the dark and make it look light out. It's going to be nice to get up in a couple weeks and uh, not have to like go anywhere. If the fish are biting, I can just stay on them. coming Chad I can feel a monster today we've caught some nice ones out of here lately not a lot but the ones we've caught have been real nice we got what might have been our PB not far from here we didn't have a scale that day we've caught longer ones but that thing was pretty long and really fat Yeah, herring, eight bucks a dozen. Bait's ridiculous. Like that's, I'll be doing a lot of bait fishing too because we're going to be doing a lot of big cat fishing and looking for monsters for Chad. So we're going to need good bait. So that'll be, uh, I've got bait tanks built up and I'm doing another bait trap down in the creek. And I'm definitely going to be spending a lot of time, you know, doing the whole, all the sides of fishing, the bait gather and the tackle, everything. Not going to be able to run to the store like I do now because busy with work, you end up running, buying everything. It adds up. Just being able to cook dinner from scratch, you know, making my own doughs and breads and stuff like that, going to save a whole lot of money. Not needing the gas to get to work. I mean, when I go to the office, it's an hour drive both ways.
Hey, Extreme Fishers, welcome in, buddy. Welcome in. It's early morning here, the sun's just coming up. It's right around the freezing mark, but it's gonna get nice and warm today. Just trying to catch a carp before work here. Awesome, Brandon's going full time in June. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, my company was starting to do these layoffs. Um, I can speak freely now that everything's announced. Um, and there was gonna come June, um, I was gonna be laid off or moved into a different department anyway. So it was a whole new job. And it was, I saw a little bit of it and it's just horrible. It wasn't, wasn't for me at all. And uh, so, yeah, it was uh, just time to uh, <laughs> go. <laughs> so I made the decision. I'm pretty handy, I've got a good back. I've dug dirt before, I'm not afraid to dig dirt. I've done construction, landscaping, fishing, guiding. So, time to take another uh, shot at doing something I really wanna do and being able to spend more time with the family. Uh, Chad said I'm gonna try a big a uh, big square bait trap with three inlet funnels we'll be checking in later this morning. Cool, I think I've seen some of those before. Hey Marilyn, good to see you. I'd rather be where you are instead of heading to work. I hear you buddy, I'm heading to work in a little bit. <laughs> uh, there's uh, Matt, good morning everyone, heading into work. Hit that like button, hope you have a great morning. Thanks buddy. I think I fell asleep on your live last night. I was in there. I think that's the last thing I remember seeing last night. You were uh, tying up, tying up some jigs. So I think you got my watch hours anyway, because I think I fell asleep with my phone running. So I woke up in the middle of the night and plugged it back in. Give it another uh, eight minutes and then we're gonna reel these guys in and put some fresh pack bait on. Yeah, we're going to be doing a whole lot of uh, multi-species fishing, that's for sure. And we're going to be doing some uh, gorilla fishing. Heading down to the city on bike and getting into some spots that you really can't drive to. You guys been on the channel a while, you know I used to race bikes for a living for a while. And I rode six hours a day and hundreds of miles a day. <laughs> And um, the one big advantage of that is I've found some pretty cool spots and some pretty hidden gems. And up till now, I just haven't really had the time to go explore them with the fishing rods. So I'm going to sneak into some of those spots and see if we can pull out something special. There's Jerry. Good morning, Jerry. How you doing? Jamaican Shore Fishing. Great channel right there. Got a lot of great channels in here. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel. I think I made this one public. Please uh, subscribe if you don't mind. Got a lot of new content coming out. A lot of people coming to the, these uh, morning, morning here anyway, while they're getting ready for work. And that's kind of the idea of this, just to wake up next to the creek, start your day the right way. I'm not sure if I'm gonna fish this exact spot tonight or it might head upstream under the bridge so that I can legally fish there after dark. Here, uh, Park technically closes at dark. Jay Johnson, welcome in, buddy. You on those crappy? <laughs> What's going on? Good to see you. It's 
Seeing our buddy uh, Lip Ripper has been smacking around the crap the last few days. Out in the snow. It was crazy weather. It was like 60s and then it was snowing and it was like 20 mile an hour winds. And just March is crazy here. As soon as winter starts leaving, you think you you got it made. I mean, it just gets March comes with all its wind and nasty weather, and I feel like it just sets back fish in two weeks. Six awesome people hanging out. I've been on the carp and catfish heavy. Lip Ripper is always on the crappy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. That's what we're trying to get onto here. We're trying to get on the carp. It's been real inconsistent. I forget if you're on in Jersey or Pennsylvania, but in Pennsylvania, they got like everything shut down for trout. So it kind of limits where we can fish right now. And man, I know my, my, my one spot that's four miles from my house, and the carp are just on fire over there. <laughs> I can't fish it. I drove by the one day and there's a, a little spot where they start coming out of the deep and oh it's been all right. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Feels like a good one. out in that current, trying to pull him out of the current. Well, he feels good. Get over here. Now he's come down under this rod. Gotta get my neck. We're gonna use that lane right over here. Come on, buddy. Come right up here. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Holy cow. We can get him in the net here.
Holy cow. That's a big one, guys. <laughs> Holy cow, that's huge. For me, anyway. Let me get him out of the net, I'll bring him up. Holy cow. Let me get my lights so you can see. Holy cow, that's a big boy. Come on, buddy. You guys can see that fish all right. <laughs> Adjust the light a little bit. There she is, the size of that one there. We're gonna get her back. She's pregnant, I'm gonna get her back in. Okay. Sorry guys, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. You guys went for a fall. Hold on. Oh Lord. I'll clean you off in a second. You're all messed up. Jesus. Let me get this girl back. Come on buddy. Come on back in. Man, I need a second after that one. That was a big boy. Holy cow. Whew. I'm going to sit here a second. Man, she was loaded with eggs, too. She was a big girl. Man. Sorry, I bumped you around there. Whew. That was a that was a big girl for this for this area anyway. That was a big girl. Hopefully the pictures and the video does it justice. I didn't want to hold her out of water anymore and try to get more pictures and all. She was a big carp. Hopefully it was worth seeing. I need to get one of those. Uh, cradles for him. Oh, thanks, Jay. Yeah, sorry, Chad. I didn't mean to drop you on your head there, buddy. <laughs> ah, nice little river monster right there. <laughs> get the net. Uh, let me get caught up. I'm in, uh, Jay Johnson said I'm in PA. I've been fishing the Delaware in the Chamonix Creek. Nice. Nice. Yeah, dude, I need to get down to the Delaware. If, if you ever want to meet up sometime, let me know. I uh, would love to get out there. I don't, I've just always fished the Schuylkill growing up, and it's gotten to the point where I have like almost like a, like I explore all bodies of water, but 
the, a big body of water is just daunting if you if you haven't fished it or don't know it especially if you don't have a lot of time which now i will have a lot of time because I'm, I'm leaving work next thursday and ain't working anymore um i have a lot more time but it, you know rivers aren't like lakes they change constantly you got to put your time in or else you're just sitting out there in the wrong spot i think i'm caught up to get back down to the bottom yeah that'd be awesome man that would be awesome once I get out of work here, I'm basically available. I'll be able to work around your schedule. All right, I think I caught my breath. Man, I've been exercising too, but that one got me, that one got me breathing. I swear by, like, if you went, if you saw that middle rod was going and I walked over there, the reason I reeled the other rod in was I swear that reeling one rod in triggers bites. I don't know how many times that that's happened where I'll grab a rod, I'll reel it in. I think it's that, that motion in the water. Even though they're carp and they're not like predator fish, I still think it just turns the bite on. There's something like, uh, I don't know, there's something like prehistoric about it or something that makes them want to bite. Prehistoric's not the right word, but too tired to think of the right word. Gonna go to work and smell like carp. Love it. girl even stole my fake corn. She ate it all. What a hog. That's the fake corn I use on the hair rig. It works really good. I, I like it better than real corn on the bottom. I like it because it floats. And I like it because it's usually it stays on. And you get all those little sunfish and stuff nibbling at it. This is really durable. It doesn't usually fall off like that. This is the same corn I've had on for a month too. So it's just easy. I wake up in the morning, grab the rods and go. Just throw the fresh pack bait on the method feeder and I'm good to go. I just put, put them on the thread and needle like that. Bring the rod over here, it'll probably make the zoom go all weird. Comes the part where I can't see this little piece. Trying to get the corn on the eye, the little uh, loop. The young person's game right there. Anybody watch John Parker last night? I think it was yesterday. He was out fishing. He went back to the house. He had the rods in the water. He went back to the house to uh, 
put the smoker on and he came back and one of his rods were all bent over. He got a nice nice uh, blue cat down there. I think only his second blue cat. But I, if he goes live today, you might not want to watch him because he said he was going to have a big bowl of baked beans and bacon. So you might want to skip that live. You got the needle on there. Got it all threaded on. I just like to push it back onto that little bait stop plastic piece. I think it's called a bait stop. That way it floats up like this. Back in business. Dagmar! What's going on, Dagmar? I don't know if you were still in my live that day that we were fishing under the bridge, but I, I gotta do a short for you. I did catch you a crayfish. You might have walked out at the same time I caught that thing. Misplaced country girl. Good morning to you. Empty homestead. <laughs> That's awesome. You got an empty homestead coffee mug. That's one of the first things I'm going to do too. Uh, first rainy day that I'm not going to fish after I get out of work. I got to get my store up and running. I've been ordering hats and shirts and all of a sudden the... Uh, they stopped delivering internationally, so now I gotta order things, get them sent to my house, then go to the post office and send them out. It's kind of a pain. There's Sam V8, welcome in, one of my members. Good to see you. Steven Merchant, you snuck in too. Good morning, another member. Yeah, we caught a monster a few minutes ago, guys. Oh, enter. Tweaked my back coming up the coming up the dirt bank on that big that big old cart. That thing was a tank. <laughs> I want to go through my GoPro right now, make sure I got the footage. 
<laughs> but I don't want to miss another hit. That was definitely one of the bigger carps I've ever caught. I want to get a cradle, but I, I usually bring that little blanket. I forgot it today. It's, it's a padded blanket. I think it's for like changing diapers when the kids were babies. Uh, but it's got like a, a material that stays wet if you wet it. So I like using that because it's lightweight and I fish. I don't fish. Not that I've never fished a pay lake, but I don't typically ever fish pay lakes where I can drive up and set up. It's always a walk in. So I try to limit the bulk that I carry. That being said, I think I'm going to a pay lake next week because they have a, a kids fishing derby where they stock it with these palominos, these gold trout for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm probably going to just do a catch and cook, but um, I don't consider that like fishing per se, more like grocery shopping, but it's a cool family business. They've been around forever and um, they also they also just raise trout for other places like stocking like any other nursery, um, but you can also fish there. So we'll get some cool underwater footage maybe and get a couple shots of it and do a, a cool uh, St. Patty's Day catch and cook. That's the plan anyway. Um, they are not Mad Cat Rod. The first one's a Silver Star that I bought when I was 12 years old. So that sucker's uh, uh, almost 40 years old. The other two are, uh, well the middle one's Pen. Uh, the end one is some cheap Cabela's rod I got for like 20 bucks. That's it. Um, I do have an amazing uh, Mad Cat's rod because of bulk. Uh, he bought us an awesome glow in the dark rod, which I have yet to line up. I got to put the right line on it to do it justice. And I don't want to just throw that one in my car. So I, I'm going to set up uh, like a rod system in my car. I can't have that one break. I put a good reel on it. It's like a $300 combo now. So I want to take care of that rod. And I want to use that down in Philly when we're going after the monsters. Because that one can handle it. Hey, butterflies and sunshine. Ooh, middle round. My pack bait was a little dry this morning, so I added like two tablespoons of anise to it. it smells really good now. It's a nice little uh, add-on scent that you can add to your carp stuff. Spray it right on your corn or right onto the pack bait.
See if we get one more before work. I got 19 awesome people in here. Sweet. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Keeping me company before work. Wild Japan, welcome in. Good to see you. MT Homestead. Fun fishing adventures. Scotty, what's going on, bud? You fishing today? I think they're about to get another takedown. I feel we're going to get another one before we shut this down. Sometimes you just feel like you're not going to get one. The rods are silent. The rods are definitely not silent today. They're going to feed. I wish I could spend some more time here. Definitely going to feed today. Lucked out over the weekend, picked up a 5.3 meter rod with a size 45 reel for a thousand, is that yen? 6.8 USD. Good Lord. 6.8 dollars. That, that can't be right. Sweet deal. Don R. Welcome in. Good morning. Good to see you. Thawed out out there yet or what? You talk about a cold part of the country. He lives up in the icebox. Uh, the new rod is a bait caster. Um, I use primarily spinning rods just because like, I have to use my rods for like different species and um, I do a lot of like subtle fishing, finesse I guess people call it. So I've always found a bait caster too clunky for that stuff. Um, but for like catfish where you got to like launch it out there pretty far, I love it. So that's that's my personal preference why I like spinning rods. I like the drag system better on a spinning rod. I just feel like, you know, like, I don't know. A lot of people like look down on spinning rods. Oh, no rod. I can't tell if it's a wind or a bite. They have their place for sure. This place, I wish I could go fishing at a doctor's appointment this morning, then hoping to plant my cabbage. That's something I didn't plant. I didn't plant any cabbage. That sounds good. I put a few things in already. Uh, I've started a couple other seeds. I got my potato sets are sitting on my dining room table. Garlic's all up already. That's Lettuce is in, kale's in, peas are in, and all the herbs or perennials that I have, they're up, up and at it already. They all survived the winter. But yeah, have a pretty good garden going. What else do you uh, grow, misplaced? I need some ideas to plant. I try to plant what my kids eat. One year I grew so much squash. They haven't eaten it since. I do have squash, but I, I'm going to plant that later. Yeah, yeah, and it was a second-hand market, and the seller had mostly art and random rod and reel. Oh, that's insane. Good find, man. 31. All right, yeah, that's warm for you guys. We're only a couple degrees warmer than that. I had 35 when I came out here. Hey, there's Ray, fish head videos. We caught a tank a, a little while ago, maybe 20 minutes ago. I'll make a, I'll clip a short out of it so everyone can see it. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'm going to try some different uh, recipes. I end up using the same one almost all the time, but I'll add a couple different things to it. I know everybody's got their secret recipe. Some people put like bird seed in it. 
it's something fun to do. I, I'm gonna make up a couple and test out different recipes on different rods. But eating onion out of the garden already. It's awesome, Chad. I never really eat the onions. Uh, I grow them and I just like cut the tops off when I'm cooking fish. I always, you know, I honestly, I always forget they're there. By the time I like harvest all the greens off of them, I kind of forget they're in the ground. <laughs> Uncle Don, peppers and tomatoes. Yep, I got some hot peppers. Uh, those are inside yet. I just saved some of my good looking peppers from last year off this bush that was crazy. I'm hoping it has the same genetics. So I save those seeds. I don't know if it's working, Jay. I don't know. It might work better. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't know. You might show up next to me with your special bait and outfish me. <laughs> I do want to put some, like, uh, some red meat in the mixture instead of water. I was thinking of like, instead of water with jello, like why not just use like chicken liver blood? So I might add some of that in the next mix. The carp in this uh, creek definitely like chicken liver too. I've caught a few that way. They're meat eaters. Cabbage, uh, here comes my list from this place. She said, cabbage, lettuce, spinach, I don't know, back away. I don't even know what that is. Carrots, radishes, broccoli, tomatoes, onions, chive, garlic, hot pepper, sweet peppers, and herbs. Yeah, that's a good mix. I find lettuce, like for me, like that's one of the most expensive things to buy. And herbs, like they're my favorite things to grow. Because like I just find myself like, if I need to prepare a lunch, I just walk out there, grab some herbs, grab some lettuce, and my vegetables are covered for the meal. Uh, tomatoes and potatoes, like I grow them, but I feel like you grow, you know, you get a few tomatoes out of each bush or whatever. It's like you barely break even on them unless you really got your farm game dialed in. But I guess once you get it down and you know how to harvest your own seeds, then it's really, becomes a lot cheaper. I do some of my own like seed harvesting, but I still get distracted. I'll be in a store and all of a sudden spend $30 on seeds. <laughs> Making the dirt like the dirt, you know, if you got to buy your own dirt, forget it. You're not going to make, you're not going to come out ahead then. So I've really focused on making my own dirt and compost. Don R, that is awesome. Salsa and hot sauce. I um, I took my hot peppers. I had like this plant that was, I think it's a jalapeno plant, but the peppers were like half the size and like tons of them. And I took those peppers and I dried them. I ate a lot fresh too, but I had so many at the end of the year. I dried them, they turned red. And um, when they became completely dry, I crumbled them up, cut them into like pieces and you could just use your finger and break them up. And I put them in jars and I filled it with uh, vinegar and I put them in my fridge. And like a month later, like it took about a month, they all like puffed up again. And oh my God, it tastes like Tabasco, but you could like drink the juice or put the juice on like as a hot sauce, or you could take the peppers and put them on sandwiches. And I don't know if I invented that or it already existed, but man, I've, I still have some in a jar in my fridge. They are amazing. So good on a sandwich. Yeah, hot sauce and salsa in this place said too. Yeah, Fishhead's got a video coming out. If he's done fighting with his editor, he's doing a he's doing a, some gardening in his his next video. I don't think I'm spoiling it. I think he he told us that. Ray said he spent a couple hours getting camping and fishing stuff ready for the trout trip. 
So the garden video didn't get edited yet. There you go. <laughs> yeah, camping with a bunch of boys and a pregnant wife is, uh, you better prepare. Dagmar said, that's cool, misplaced country girl. Fishing, I love fresh fruits and vegetables out of the garden. Book choy is a Chinese vegetable in the cabbage family. Yeah, I've heard of it, I think. I just don't, I can't place what it is. I'll have to, I've seen it in the grocery store occasionally. I'll have to take note of it. What time is it? 7.30. Well, I think I got to wrap this up. It takes me about an hour to get to work, and I'm supposed to be there at 8.30. And I got a little bit of mud on my shoes I got to get out. So I'm going to start bringing these watermelon and cantaloupe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bok choy. Book choy. <laughs> I like book choy. I'm going to start reeling some in. I'll keep you guys live while I do that. Might have enough bait for tonight. Give me a close one. Someone asked what rod height this was. This is a Zepco Genesis paired with an old Zepco 400. I had a good time this morning. I appreciate you all coming in here, spending your mornings with me. I'll be checking out your channels. A little bit later today, try to make my visits. If you got any videos, you're going live today. Feel free to drop the link in the channel before you head out. Well, I hope this is the last day I got to wear these ripped up holy camo onesies this year. Stitch these things up and hang them for the summer, hopefully soon.
Thanks, Chad, buddy. Appreciate it. We got ourselves a river monster today. I'm going to call him a river monster. Might be the closest I get to one. All right, I'm going to get you guys out of here. I'll show you the up creek just below the bridge again, the old trestle. Got some old sycamores over there. There's big white trees. That's it. I don't want to show you downstream. All the locals will know where I'm at and flood the spot. <laughs> I'll catch you all tomorrow, guys. Uh, tonight. I'm on tonight. I forgot. Um, 6.30 tonight, about 6.30. Uh, I'm going to be fishing live, carping cats. I might go up under that bridge tonight. Not sure. Depends. Uh, I might have the boys with me. And if they're up for fishing in the dark, we'll go up to the bridge so we can stay out later um bullheads are probably on too we'll probably be able to catch some bullheads up there they love that but i'm going to cut out of here get to work so i don't get fired on my last week at work thank you all for coming in appreciate you guys